Everyone remembers the beginning of this year. Insane prices for graphics cards, and that's if you could even find one. Now today we finally start to see MSRP prices directly from NVIDIA. Well, what does this mean? Well, besides the impending release of a new GPU, it means that gamers can get a pretty good deal. Are you worried about your car becoming obsolete? Don't worry, as these new cards will most likely cost double the 1080 Ti or greater. If you have that money, then of course save it, but otherwise, I would recommend some fancy a lot. Everyone kept saying prices are falling, but we really have our first confirmation of this. NVIDIA has placed 1080 Ti's back up on sale on their website for $699 back down to their original MSRP. But even better is the fact that these cards are still in stock a whole day after they were put up. Back when the crypto craze, a Founders Edition would alone would be worth more than two grand. And I personally was just interested to see if I could find another Founders Edition new. Back during the height of the craze, I would get notified that the cards were in stock and would immediately just check to find that the cards had been completely sold out again. Similar situations were everywhere on all kinds of cards. Even better is that the 1070 is back down under $400, available directly from NVIDIA. 1060 is well under $300, making all of NVIDIA's cards appear to be completely recovered from the massive price hike we saw at the beginning of 2018. So what about AMD? Well, I was able to find a Vega 64 for $600. While that is still above MSRP, it is close to the 1080's price of $500. Compared to the difference earlier this year, I'm surprised it's dipped this low. The Vega 56 is around $550, still above, but is pretty much in stock everywhere. Same for the Vega 64. And when I look at the Vega 2 running 7 nanometers, I don't see them staying pricey for long, especially when that's supposed to be the next release from AMD. So why did it take so long for prices to fall back down to normal? Well, it most likely is due to the impending releases of new architectures. I doubt anything soon, though, as NVIDIA recently received a large number of cards back from miscalculating the number of cards that would be sold due to the mining craze. This means they have a lot of cards to sell before they release the next gen, and I don't think they will announce another card before these are mostly sold. Otherwise, people will wait for the next series and won't buy up the current cards. So we may see some new developmental images but and renders, but don't expect nothing close to production. This is also confirmed by the leaks we're seeing online of some new engineering samples of a NVIDIA card uh, using GDDR6, and just in time for summer too. It almost feels like last year. Good prices. Not only if we can get RAM prices back down to normal. And will prices spike back up with the new card? Well, as long as the mining doesn't flare up, I think a little demand for the new cards from gamers is healthy and fine. Within a month or so of release, any new cards should be back down to MSRP if the companies produce enough. Which, after this crypto disaster and large number of upset gamers, I think it won't happen again. So that's it for today. If you need any buying advice, you can find me down in my Discord s server in the description. Also, please like the video if it helps you. I use them to gauge how my audience likes the topic, and it helps me tremendously. As always, thank you for watching, of course. Goodbye.